Hey guys, uh, this week for our Film It Friday, we've done a Film It Friday fight scene edition. We have done it in three different styles, a one take dolly, a one take handheld, and one with various cuts, and break it down for you guys. What I drew a lot from in this was um, from the raid, camera is like just as a part of the performance as what the actors are. How many rehearsals did we do like prior Too to this many. shoot? <laughs> Too many. Or maybe rehearsals. not enough. <laughs> I, maybe. Like just a one take in general mm. needs a lot of rehearsal, but because this is more than just a one take, it was something that was really integrated in in the choreography of the fight. Like. I had my own set of choreography, mm. I had my own beats yeah. I had to follow to go along with your choreography, so I think rehearsals are definitely super, super important. And also just being prepared physically as well, like I had to run around with you guys <laughs> holding this massive yeah. red camera. I think just like from a safety standard, we didn't just rock up to set, we didn't just like do this. Um, I had like a grand plan in my head at the start that I originally came to you with, whereas I want to be flipped on the car, flipped on the concrete, <laughs> and then when we actually did rehearsal, I was like, hey, this hurts. And so I think seeing your location first yeah. and then designing your fight off of that, it's going to save a lot of time. You're going to know you can't do as much as you wanted to. We do have to say that no matter what, <laughs> you need to have a safety officer or someone that is professionally trained in mm. um, in stunt choreography. You as like mm. your background, which mm. is... In boxing <laughs> and Muay Thai. So yeah, I've done that for you know six years or more. Yeah, I definitely have like the knowledge of it and how to do it safely, so. Yeah, and so yeah. I trusted that and I was like, great. So we have someone on board that knows mm. how to make these punches sell, how to make the falls mm. safe. I always have safety mats. Our only reason why we couldn't have this was because we were doing wide shots like it was impossible mm. to have a mat in the shot <laughs> that you were going to be falling onto yeah breaking it down where we can do it at a slow pace and then like we did those throws so many times slow so i mm. could figure out how to fall correctly and where my momentum was going so i think once i found where my momentum was that when we did it fast i knew how to correct that or go with those falls so yeah i think it just falls down to doing it slow mm. many many times and yeah i was gonna say so many <laughs> so times. many times what's the rest of what you said let's take a look at the dolly so let's take a look at the dolly oh, you gotta do that you gotta run that <laughs> With a one take, which is super wide, it can be really boring. So I really like that you and I talked about introducing movement on a dolly to create more of a sort of motion going with the fight. What inspired that for me was a fight scene on Old Boy, and it's basically just a one take, and it relies a lot on the choreography to really sell it, because you can't fake a lot of stuff in it. You can't Dutch tilt to enhance it. It's really performance based, and that's kind of hard for us having to nail our marks and make sure it's selling on camera. And how do you think it went? And we nailed that, I think, on like the eighth or ninth one, and a mm. lot of these one takes take a long time. The reference that I'm going to be throwing in this one took 
17 takes. So what you're saying is we're better than them. Yeah! <laughs> as an overall, for one takes in general, you have to commit performance-wise 100%. You know, you've got to think about like the fitness of your actors because they do get really tired. So the next one will be um, like multiple cuts. So we're going to see how that sort of plays out. We want to show another variation with the like sort of edited version and what the benefits are, I guess disadvantages are of doing something like that. I mean the largest benefit is that well for someone who doesn't know how to fight or we haven't had as much rehearsal time for choreography, you can cheat a lot of stuff I guess in a lot of the movements like the close-ups and, and the positioning and stuff like that. And I think it's a lot less taxing on us like actually performing it because there's breaks, you only have to nail that one shot, oh, okay cool move, relight, stuff like that. I think as another advantage as well, we took more time perfecting how to, I guess, fake some of the hits. Yeah. yeah. We were able to, you know, angle the camera, you know, move you guys to a way where like, oh, that punch is selling. To make some of those shots sell a little more, I cut on the impact. I cut to the next angle where it's either continuing or be pulling away. But yeah, I think it sells <laughs> a little more, um, you know, hiding it uh, that way. So there you have it. Those are three ways that you guys can shoot a fight scene. Three things that say the same for all of them is that you need to have a lot of planning, um, a lot of rehearsals to make sure you get the choreography down and also a lot of safety. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. <laughs> we'll see you next week with more content. In the meantime, please stay, stay safe. safe. <laughs> stay, stay creative. creative. <laughs>